we are going to discuss about something called as left factoring so the topic name is left factoring so what is a left factoring if there's a grammar something like this s can derive a alpha 1 slash a alpha 2 slash a alpha 3 and so on and here you can see when we have a alpha 1 a alpha 2 a alpha 3 this kind of productions create an issue with the grammar why this is an issue because generally before the start of every production we have the same symbol which is a assuming that if a grammar tries to generate some string then it will first check uh, the first option that is a alpha 1 and by checking alpha 1 completely it can it, it will get to know that we are we cannot generate a string from a particular uh, production therefore it will try to check the second string after this that means s can derive a alpha 2 and again if uh, by alpha 2 we cannot generate the string so it will go back and it will check the third string that is s can derive a alpha 3 and so on see this kind of production actually create an issue for generating the strings because uh, when when i'm saying creating an issue that means you're trying to generate a string and you have to check all the options one by one that means there's no precise path of going to that way you can view it like this assuming that you want to go from uh, delhi to chandigarh so this is delhi and from delhi there are multiple paths which are going there's a one path like this one path like this one path like this and one path like this and again after going to these paths see in all these paths uh, there's something written like this uh, uh, this way to uh, maybe uh, uh, let us suppose some location maybe panipat so it is a way to panipat right so it is a name of a place R right so in all these paths it is way to panipat you know that to go to chandigarh you have to go through panipat okay now from this path you can see there is uh, multiple all these multiple locations are actually generating panipat you know that from if you want to go from delhi to chandigarh then you have to take uh, any one of this path but you don't know which path is correct so what you'll do is you'll go through this path you'll check all the options where it is leading to then go to this path and you'll check all the options where it is leading to you'll go to this path and it'll check all the option where it is leading to assuming this path is going to chandigarh but if to uh, get to this path you have to explore these locations and which is going to create an issue because it is going to create a lot of time for you okay so uh, right so it can be anything now this alpha 3 can be you know can it can be a definition or it can be some combination so you can see all the productions are fighting because every production contain the first symbol as a right if even if you want to try to generate a string w is equal to a alpha 3 assuming this is a string which you try to generate so s will check the first symbol of this first production it is matching with a but then it will get to know that second symbol is not matching with alpha 2 then it will check the first symbol here then it will check the second symbol then it will check the first symbol here then it will check the second symbol so by for checking the first symbols you are going to waste a lot of time right so uh, you can see for all the above grammar to generate the string which is a alpha 3 all the productions are fighting because every production contains the first symbol as a and this problem is called as left factoring and this left factoring is going to waste a lot of time for us therefore for any given grammar we have to eliminate left factoring or we can say left factored grammar so how to eliminate left factoring if we have a particular grammar like this s can derive a alpha 1 a alpha 2 a alpha 3 to eliminate left factoring we can also write s can derive a s dash and this s dash can derive alpha 1 slash alpha 2 slash alpha 3 so this is a, so you can this you can use this as a formula to eliminate left factoring let me show you it show it to you with a simple example if you have a grammar like this s can derive i e t s slash i e t s e s uh, these are capital s I can I can write it like this, I E T S E S slash A and this E can derive B. See this grammar, if you check this grammar, this grammar is representing the if else statement. Let me explain it to you. It is checking if expression then statement. It is saying if expression then statement else statement. Okay, in the same way this is an expression. This is how we actually use uh, these cases uh, this is a grammar which is representing the if else condition 
now this grammar is having left factoring why because you can check in all these conditions this these are the four symbols which are exactly the same these are the four symbols which are exactly the same now this is different okay so if if you are representing this entire by a then this is representing a alpha where alpha is representing es okay so because of this there is a left factoring which is there in this particular grammar so to eliminate this left factoring we have to follow the previous rule okay and this one uh, the first production can be written as a epsilon so this is uh, we are going to write this grammar like this s can derive i e t s that means this entire string exactly like this here and then we have to write s dash s dash is a new symbol which we proposed slash a this a is as it is and then we have to write s dash can derive epsilon slash es that means in in, in this s dash if we have give epsilon then we'll be able to generate this one in this s dash if we give es then we'll be gen able to generate this one okay and then then we can write the second production here which is e can derive small b and now you can see in this grammar we are not having any kind of left factoring consider one more example here assuming that we are having the grammar s can derive a slash a b slash a b c slash a b c d now this grammar is obviously having left factoring by because the first symbol is exactly the same this is the first symbol which is exactly the same so we have to eliminate left factoring from this grammar so to eliminate left factoring you can also convert it the same grammar like this s can derive a s dash where uh, s dash can give b epsilon slash b slash bc slash b c d okay so you can uh, uh, check it from the above example this is here we are having epsilon here we are having b here we are having bc here we are having bcd so i'm writing all these four cases here but you can see if you write s dash here then this is again first symbol is exactly the same and here the second symbol is creating a issue the second symbol is creating left factoring so we have to eliminate the second symbol also so again the same grammar can also be converted like this s can derive a s dash s dash can drive epsilon uh, slash b s double dash that is this double dash itself is a new variable where which we introduced for this one and then this s double dash can also give epsilon slash c and uh, slash cd uh, this c here and this cd here and again you can see there's an issue with it because here it is creating left factoring so again you have to el eliminate left factoring from this so again you can write the same grammar like this s can derive a s dash s dash can derive epsilon slash b s double dash s double dash can derive epsilon uh, slash c s triple dash and this s triple dash can generate epsilon slash d now you can see this particular grammar now this final grammar is not having any left factoring so that means this entire grammar should be converted to this so that we can eliminate the left factoring okay now consider one more example for the left factoring assuming the grammar is like this s can derive a a s slash a a a and this capital a can generate a a a slash a b now if you check the first production in the first production we have a in the beginning a a in the beginning actually so that is why there's a left factoring here in the second production because of these two there's a left factoring so from the first production we are going to eliminate left factoring so the first production can be written as s can derive a a s dash where s dash can give s slash a that means i'm given the second symbol into this s dash so if you check the second production it this say in if you want to remove left factoring from the second production it can be written as a can generate a a dash where a dash can generate epsilon slash b now you can see in this entire grammar there is no issues which is called as the issue of left factoring okay there's no left factoring here now let us see what are the types of parsers after this